What's up, it's your boy 360Gs. Listen, we are back, we are back. I went to the gym this morning and I'm feeling real good today. I, feel nice. I don't know what it is. I feel like I need to do more. I feel like I need to vlog and, and, and do my normal routine. I got stuck in this rut where I was actually kind of lazy. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna even gonna lie. I was showing up to work on time, on the money. You know what I mean? I used to really wake up and actually go to work early and do my blogging thing, but we back. I don't know what the gym did to me. I don't know if it was the gym fully, but it's something about setting a goal, doing it, and then the rest will come. That's what it just feels like. You know what I'm saying? No pause. Hold up. Time out. Time out. The rest will come, all right? So what we gonna do today is basically, uh, I'm gonna vlog today. I'm gonna show you my razor lineups. I, this is something that I never did, really just do a razor line video, all right? So let's go. Check it out, check it out. I bet you guys thought there was only a couple of ways to do a razor line. But the real reality is, there's a lot of ways you can raise a line. Now, let me be specific, okay? I was about to say Pacific. I was about to say Pacific, but then y'all be correcting me in the comment section. But to me, it don't even really matter. Specific, Pacific, 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 Specific, Pacific. It don't really matter, it's all the same to me. Let me tell you the different ways to raise a line. Did you guys see Guardian of the Galaxy? Let me tell you about it. Listen, Rocket. Okay, well listen, don't tell us what's gonna happen though, because I like to be surprised. <laughs> So when it comes to doing razor lines, there's a lot of techniques that I took from different people, all right? One technique that I took is from Smash the Barber. The way he do his razor lines, he basically makes sure that hair is super dry. And then he, when he razors the client, he leaves like a box of ash all around the hairline. And it's very precise, okay? This box of hairline is very precise. That was something when I was in barber school, uh, when I was looking at his work, I was like, man, how does he get that done? You know what I'm saying? It's all about using alcohol, drying the skin, and razor lining to the point where uh, the skin is just kind of dry and being real precise about how you use your razor. Where you get your beats? What's the dreams production?
where you get your beef. Now this is an important thing you guys need to understand and I'm speaking more towards my newer barbers that's going to school trying to figure out how to get that white ash line. And there's a couple things you got to take into account. Is the hair clean? Is the skin clean? All right? Is the skin dry? Wash the hair before you actually cut the client. One of the things that I was doing, I was using my aftershave to put across the skin, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of get it dry. But even that wasn't doing the trick. So shout out to Wavy Kid Kev. He put me on, he didn't, he put me, he put me, on, he put me on to the alcohol, okay? I wasn't thinking using straight alcohol because what if a client has a, a, a pore that's just open? What if he has a pimple that's just, you know what I'm saying? Using 91% on his skin, it's gonna cause your client to burn. Bro, you bad Bro, you you bro. You bro. Be careful when you use this, all right? I kid you not, this gets the skin super dry. And once you go to line it up, it'll leave that ash mark, especially if you got hitters. And what I mean by hitters is that you're adjusting your liners, sharpening your liners. You gotta have some hitters to make that ash mark. that you could use to create the ash mark is this pencil, all right? This Barber Magic pencil. Um, I get mine off of eBay. You could just search around for it. Um, but I seen Get Beam and Wavy Kim Kev's videos throwing shots talking about, oh man, you and Jeezy, y'all leave the ash mark about this thick. Kev and Jeezy don't even make thin lines with the Ooh. pencil. Wow. Y'all don't got the thickest lines with the, with the, with wow. the pencil? Wow. We got to pull footage up? Them thick boys. Pull the footage Wow. Damn line be this thick. You leave it about this thick. Damn line be this thick. It ain't no rules or regulations on how to put this ash mark in. Not everybody like it pencil thin, bro. Maybe I like to use it on the side and draw it in like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I took some hints from you, Get Beam, with the pencil. And then I took some hints from Smash the Legends and basically combined the two and did it my way. It ain't no one way, bro. Putting it in directly like that and you always gotta shave it and put it down. I ain't gotta do that because I use the sides, bro. I ain't gotta do that. You buy pencils every two or three days, bro. I make mine last.
basically, there's more ways to do a razor line. It's not just one way how to do a razor line. Find out the way that works best for you. You can mix and match, combine just like I did. Don't don't let Bean be out here telling y'all this is this is how you're supposed to do it. There's only one way. Nah. You could do it the way you do it, okay? And be successful doing it. Look at me! Take it from me! Shots at Get Beam, since he wanna throw shots under the cover. You know what I'm saying? Shots at Get Beam, man, if you wanna run up! You know what I'm saying? Take the take the way the kid can't challenge and stop ducking, bro! Alright, let me let me stop. Alright, alright. Alright.